it's Mike coming at you with another Planet Coaster Park Spotlight. Thank you for joining me, welcome to the video, and welcome to a park that originally had no name. It was just called Not Known. So I've renamed the park to Steelers Family Towers, because this park was created by a family, Steelers Fan 812's family, his wife and his daughter. Now, because this is a family park, I thought with that in mind, I would have a very special guest with me. Now there are some that say he is exactly like me, only one eighth my size. I have Mini Matty, my son Isaac. How are you doing, Isaac? Good. Are you excited to join me for a spotlight? Yeah. It's been a long time since I last have. It has. It's been a long time since you've joined me on a video. Now today's park is an Xbox One park and a fantastic little park. So without further ado, let's hop in and have a look around, shall we? So here we are at the park entrance. Isaac, have you seen that design on the floor, that flower, what they've done with lights? Yes. How... I very much like it. It's really nice, isn't it? Yeah. I really like what they've done there. And you play Planet Coaster as well, don't you? Yeah. You've done quite a few parks, haven't you? Yeah. Right, so we'll have a walk down here. We've got these statues here that are all named. So we have Melacoma, or Melacomus. We have Vladin. And I like what they've done with the colouring here. Uh, you've got Pyra the Great, just coloured all of it. It looks like a Power Ranger. And then a lion head on the wall, just up there. And then just as we carry on down, we have Sir Charles III. So this park has used a lot of the in-game blueprints. The majority of the park is made up of in-game blueprints, but they've like dotted them around and it looks really good. And you access the three areas of the park via this monorail. So let's just have a zoom down this monorail, shall we? And go over to the first side of the park. Well, what are your first thoughts so far, Isaac, as you're looking at this park? It's very good, and I do like it. It's really nice, isn't it? Yeah. You've used this castle before in one of your parks, haven't you? Yeah. I seem to remember you using that. But they've changed it up a little bit. They've made some little modifications to it. It looks really nice. It's a really good in-game blueprint. For people who may not be that confident in building their own. So just placing this down. Some nice foliage around the outside. Just that rocks and foliage and a little bit of paint tool use. And there's a little bit over here just before we hop over to the first side of the park. Look at this down here. Yeah, so we've got some carts around here just selling food. We've got a block of toilets just there. You've got all the vines and the weeds going up. It's very busy over here, isn't it? Yeah. And all the shops are closed. Oh, there's a sign that says closed on them. But right, anyway, let's hop over to the first side of the park, so the first area. Now, unfortunately, I haven't been able to get in contact with Steelers fan. He put this request in via my Discord, which there'll be a link for down below and up in the top corner. But he put a request in for this spotlight a couple of months ago, and I've tried to contact him because I was curious as to who made what in the park, but unfortunately I wasn't able to get a response from him. So I'm not sure what he did, what his wife did, and what his daughter did. But I love this here, Isaac, just there as you go through the bridge on the monorail, and you've got the people on either side. Mm, me too. Looks really nice, doesn't it? Yeah. But we come over to the first area of the park. So we have the Wallachia. I think that's what it says. I'm not sure. But well, we've got a really nice monorail station just down here. Oh, hang on. Ah, the monorail's going through us. There we go. Right, where's the exit? Where's the exit? Ah, get out of the way. There we go. Right, so the exit is just down here. And we have a welcome. Oh, isn't this nice? We see a coaster just off over there. We've got some flat rides dotted around. Come back soon. Oh, I really like that. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah, I love it. We've got a Phoenician carousel just to the left there. I like what you've done here. Just splitting it up with a little bit of foliage. Some plant work in the middle and a tree there. I'm not sure if there's any in um, workshop items in this park. I believe there may be a couple, but there wasn't any shout outs in the park to people who they may have taken things from. So apologies if I do look at anything and it is created by somebody else. But look at this, we've got a, a bungee swing thing here. They're scary, Isaac. So you go and sit in them and then it flings you really high in the air on the springs. Yeah. 
I would not go on that. I'm not sure I would go on that, to be honest. I think that would be a little bit too scary for me. But we've got a ride height sign there. Now, this is the same ride height sign that I saw the other day for the Belmont Park. So, I'm assuming that must be a workshop item. And then, look at this, Isaac. This building here with all the gems coming down it. I really like that. It's really clever, isn't it? What they've done, just the gems coming down and then the ropes going through it. Gives a really nice effect. But we're working our way round to the first coaster of the park. But I want to make sure that I cover everything in this area first before we go on it. So we'll carry on walking around here. So this is the other side of that food court. So we've just got a little Mexicante just there. Mexalante, Mexicante. There was also a llama. There was a llama. It was like one of the uh, things that pinatas, isn't it? That you beat up and there's the candy inside. Yeah. And we have Raising Cane. I really like that little symbol that you've done just with the basic shapes just to the right there. But we'll have a walk down this queue path. We'll skip over because we're way more important. And we've got a B&M seating coaster. So first ride, let's do it. Enjoy. So there we have our first ride, Raising Cane. Isaac, what did you think of that ride? That was really good. I liked that ride. Did you? Yeah. Would you I go on it? I also liked the little monster at the top. Yeah, when that's. You get up. Yeah, I liked that as well. The the ride did require a little bit of smoothing. I'm not going to lie. Certainly, the second half of the ride did feel a little bit on the fast side. I think that second lift hill could have just been dropped ever so slightly so it did like lose some of the momentum on the second half and the towards the end of the ride it did require a break run because it does come on to the station like a bat out of hell it was way too fast so coming around here i would have maybe straight line this going down towards the station through this flower archway which i did really like I like that design there. But have all of this as one big break run just as it comes down into the station so it comes in a lot smoother. But other than that, really nice ride. Nicely themed around it. Yep, yeah, great job. So, right, Isaac, let's hop over to the second part of the park, shall we? So, we've got a nice little park spotlight today. It's not a big one at all. So, we'll hop back to the monorail and... There you go, just as they're going. So let's see if we can beat it. No, hang on. No, wait, come back. It's going too quick. Move camera. Move. Move quicker. There you go. Quicker, quicker, quicker. No, the monorail's gone. We've lost it. Hang on. Ah, no, camera. Through the wall. It definitely beat us. Yeah, I don't think you're catching it anymore. No, there you go. We caught it again. But we've got a very similar station here to the first one. And let's hop out into the second area, shall we? So... This looks really nice, just with all the foliage around. Looks very fairy tale, doesn't it? Yeah. Hello. I was going to say it does. Yeah, it does. Well, that woman's stuck. Um, why are you stuck? Eh. I'm not sure why she was stuck. I'm not sure what was going on there. Oh, look at this little mushroom house here. And then that looks like where Bilbo lives. Yeah. A little hobbit house. Oh uh, yeah, one of them. Yeah. I really like that little mushroom house. We've got another Venetian carousel over here. Really nicely themed all around. Lots of foliage used. We've got a plane here. And then we've got a little play area over here. Shall I leave Isaac here just to have a quick play? Yeah. Before we carry on? Yeah. There's some swings here, some slides, some monkey bars. 
That's really well done. Some more pinatas as well. Yeah, nice little playground. And let's carry on around here, shall we? Is there anything that you're seeing that you're liking, Isaac? Yeah, I like the ice cream. The ice cream van. Yeah, I like that, Mr. Softy. Oh, look what they've done. So they've taken one of the men and they've made him look dressed up like an ice cream. Oh. That's cool. And then just as we walk around here, we've got a Facoma family coaster just to our left, but we'll come back to that in a minute. We'll finish off around this area first, and then I think we'll come back to that to finish off the area before moving on to the third and final area. So we've got some tents just around here. Lots more foliage, lots of paint tool used. This looks like a very family place, doesn't it? Yeah. I would love to go here. I, I knew you would. We can't go, I'm afraid. It's not real. Hmm, sorry. <laughs> if they make it, then we're going. <laughs> we'll, if they make something like this, I'll take you. We've got another flower on the floor there, look. And then just as we work down here, so we've got some shop items. I do recognise them. They are from Planet Plipcam. So those I do recognise. Maybe just if you are taking things from the workshop, maybe just be careful about giving credit to the original creators, especially if it is going to appear on YouTube. It just makes it easier for me as well and other content creators. But anyway, let's work over to this family coaster. So second ride, let's do it. Enjoy. That was a really nice little laid out family coaster. Very simple, very effective, does the two laps. It did require a little bit of smoothing, especially just as it was going up into the moments of airtime. But I love the station, I really like the layout. Nice little ride. Isaac, what did you think of that? I really liked that ride. Yeah? Yeah. Would you have gone on that one? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> No, but the thing is, whenever I've taken you on even any little coasters, you scream and scream and scream. No, I don't. <laughs> when we took you to Creeley in that video that we did, you proper screamed and yeah. said that you were never going on any more ever again. Yeah, well, it was really scary. <laughs> but anyway, let's hop over to the third and final area of the park, shall we? And then we'll have a look at this park at night time. It's a really nice park. I am, as I said, I'm recognising a lot of in-game blueprints, a lot of workshop items. But if it's your first park, I think that's a good place to start if you maybe don't have the confidence to maybe build things yourself and then progress from there. But, oh, I like the station. Oh, it looks like Hogwarts, look, with the clocks, the platform, nine and three quarters. Yeah, I know. I was just watching um, Harry Potter. You were as well, weren't you? you yeah. Which one are you watching? The first one, and I haven't finished it. No, well, you've seen them lots of times before, though, haven't you? Yeah. You've seen them loads of times. Oh, look at this here. Oh, I love that. Just with the wooden beams and then the water coming down and the ivy. That looks amazing. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to have to steal that. I'm 100% stealing that. Really simple. Great job. I love that. We've got another Venetian carousel again, look. That's three in one park. They really like these carousel rides, don't they? Yeah. Oh, we'll carry on down here. Looks really nice. Just with the um, like flowers just like kind of floating around us. Oh, look at this. I really like that. I guess they put the water in there. That looks amazing. And then the horse in the middle as well, isn't there? Yeah. And then we've got a flat ride over here. It looks like something out of Mario, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Mario. Here we go. <laughs> Luigi. And that's called Breakdance. Yeah, I really like that. That's a great job. 
And then we, oh, we're coming to a haunted area. Oh, look at that skeleton hanging off the house there. Oh, I really like that. Yeah. And we have Steelers. Now, I'm going to sound really, really dumb here. I'm assuming that Steelers is an American team of some description, but I don't know if it's football or basketball or ice hockey. I've got absolutely no idea. I haven't got a clue. But we have G uh, Gens Motel. Gens? Gens? Oh, anyway, yeah, don't forget, you should turn in night time so it looks uh, cool. Like that, you mean? Yeah. Like that. I was, I was already one step ahead of you there, mate. Yeah. Beat you to it. Now, I think this is an in-game ride. I think, but I'm not 100%. They may have modified it ever so slightly. So, with that in mind, I think we'll go for a quick ride of it anyway. So, final ride of the park. Let's do it. Enjoy. Were you scared, Isaac? Yeah. Was that too scary? Yeah, I think did... I'm going to have nightmares today. <laughs> what did you think of that? Besides it, really it being good. scary. It was really good. It was very good, wasn't it? And lit up really well. I really like the lighting all around here. I mean, if we go back and have a look at the Mario ride. It's not a Mario ride, but for all intents and purposes, we're calling it a Mario ride. I think that's lit up really well. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> And the lighting in this park is really good. I actually would say that's one of the strongest elements of this park, if I'm being honest, is the lighting. I like like the heads what are moving. Yeah, I noticed that as well. Oh, we've got the ghost just in front of us. Ghostbusters. No, it's not Ghostbusters. It wasn't the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. Oh. <laughs> and then, oh, well, look at the sign here. So we have the pinwheel. So it's just a flat ride, but then they've done the sign with the block font letters there. Yeah, when we went somewhere, I saw that ride. Mum yes. told me to go on it, I said no. Yeah, when we went to the fair. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. You wouldn't get me on that, let alone you. But anyway, let's have a quick look at the entire park at night before we give out some closing thoughts. So let's just swap that camera movement so we can zoom over there a little bit quicker. Yeah, that looks beautiful. I love that. It's lit up really well, isn't it? Yeah. Really, really nice. Like, lots of different colours as well, isn't there? Yeah. You can see reds, greens, purples, blues, yellows, reds. So many different colours. Oh, I was going to say a different colour before you said one. Oh, you really? You said it before me. Oh, I beat you. Great minds think alike. And then the final area of the park just over here. Yeah, really nice job. Really nice to have a family park, having like your wife and daughter involved. I think that's really nice, and having a big family project working on the game. I, I love that. But Isaac, any closing thoughts? I know what I need to do for you. I need to do, give me your three-word park review. Yeah, um, the <laughs> castle, it looks like the Harry Potter castle. Harry Potter castle, it does, it looks yeah, like Hogwarts. It looks like Hogwarts. It does, you're right. I don't think Isaac's going to do a three-word park review, so we'll just go with it. But thank you ever so much for watching, everybody. I'll be back in a couple of days for another Planet Coaster Spotlight. Take care, stay safe, look after yourselves, and I will see you all very soon. Say and goodbye, me. Isaac. And me. Bye. <laughs> Bye.